do that every damn time. I plugged in the mic and it said, is this a mic? And I said, yes, it is. It didn't tell me that it wasn't actually on. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Man, about like five times, like the past five live streams, I forgot to turn the mic on. Hello. I said hi to Bonnie and Lindsay, but they couldn't hear me. So here it is again. Hi. And Carolee's here. Ooh, and who else? And Mama G. Hello. And Vicky, how are you? Hello, hello. And Mary McDonald. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome to the channel. Nance, welcome to the channel. Okay. Now, I'm going back up in the chat. Everyone's like, hello. We can't hear you. I was pointing out my decor and just saying how sad it was <laughs> so far. Um, but you know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna add more stuff down here or not. I I probably should. I wanna make it more festive. But I so rarely have this view. Um, usually we're over at the table over there, so I don't know. Letitia's here too, hello. Hello, hello. And Gina, I don't know if I said hi, Gina, but hi. Oh my gosh. By the way, Gina, totally random side comment. I was just thinking, when you first started coming in, I had a totally different picture in my mind of what you looked like. And then I saw what she looked like in real life. I was like, she's a cute little redhead. I didn't know. Um, so I'm going to talk, I guess, about what we're going to do tonight. I'm sure you got, well, maybe you did, or maybe you didn't get the email notification about uh, this box I have. This box is so heavy that it's like hard for me to pick up. And when I like scoot it over to the side, yeah, you can tell when I scoot to the side, it just like shifts my whole table and kind of makes me feel like I need to tighten the screws on all the table legs. Cause it's like the box doesn't budge and the whole table's like earthquake. So um, here's the thing. I've never done this before. This uh, I have a wholesaler who's in, actually, you know what, my little, let me get my packing slip. Ah, thank you, Gina. I ha I I love my tree too. My husband said, "I'm getting my packing slip." He said, "Oh, now things are blurry." Okay, well, hopefully that fixes. Uh oh, South Carolina. I thought it was in. Um... Come on, camera. I got it. I thought this one was in Colorado for some reason. I have like I try to buy. I think I've told you guys this before. I try to source from uh, wholesalers in the U.S. as much as possible. Sometimes I buy things direct from source, which is from other countries. Um, it just depends on what the material is, how much I could get it, and blah, blah, blah. Um, and I always get mixed up where I get things from. <laughs> oh, Carol Lee loves her bowls, Gina. Um, I know, she has really pretty hair. Gina Fancy has pretty hair. Anywho, so I was thinking Colorado, but that, that's a different one. This one is South Carolina. Um, all right, so here's the deal. They have never done this before. I've shopped from them for a year now, I believe, and this is the first time they've ever offered a mystery box. So I bought a mystery box, and I think that it's still got all the wholesale pricing stuck right on the pieces. If it doesn't, we'll just kind of wing it, but we'll go cheap. Um, I haven't looked at it. All I did was open the very top flap. Everything else is still wrapped. So I don't know what's in here. However, I do have a few things that I bought that were aside from the mystery lot, including, oh, the, okay. So I got these like freeform towers, but not really towers as such. They're just like faceted kind of towers. And those are different, all different stones. I don't know what the stones are. I can't remember. Um, oh, Lisa, boo. Hello. Oh, and Lisa's here too. Hey, Lisa. I didn't say hello to Lisa. Elizabeth says, boo, boo. Got a crate full of cool stuff the other day, along with my gifted lab bracelet you've been holding hostage. <laughs> Please tell Mac that you finally got it. Um, it would make a lovely collar for your cat if you never, if you don't want to wear it. And by your cat, I mean the Labradorite cat, not the real cat. I'm assuming it wouldn't fit the real cat's neck. But the lab cat, it would do fine on that. Um, anywho, so these are all closeout items. Just going back and make sure I didn't miss anything. 
Okay. They're all closeout items. Uh, and they should all have tags on them. But not the lot. So the things that I personally bought, I got Opalite Palm Stones, which should be here somewhere. Um, and those are not going to be the, the part of the deal. Um, Rainbow Moonstone Palm Stones, also not going to be part of the deal. And then the Faceted Freeforms. But the mystery lot is all going to be part of this deal. So basically, whatever it's tagged, it's gonna, that's where our starting bid's going to be. Um, they did, hey, KC, how's it going? Did you get your stuff yet? I don't, I'm now trying to think of when I sent it out. But let me know if you got it. Um, okay, so blah, blah, blah. Let's have a fun sale. Um, I will be setting some stuff aside that's not part of this deal, but everything else will be. And it all starts here, so let's do it. Let's do it. And I might just kind of toss things aside. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, here's the first one. Oh, it doesn't have a dang tag on it. Wouldn't that be the case? Oh, now I remember what I was going to say. Ooh, this one needs to be off. Some of these might be seconds. Okay, so full disclaimer. And I'll point out anything I see. Um, this one actually needs to be cleaned. It looks like they had a sticker on it that left some residue. So he, this is the first piece. I have no idea what this could possibly be listed at because there's no, they didn't leave a tag on it. I thought they were going to leave the tags on everything. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start this one off at 10. This is going to be the first piece. And it's an agate candle. It's a candle holder. So this, all this, this is not scratch. This is sticker residue that can be cleaned off. So starting bid 10 bucks. It is, um, oh, you know what? Let me see if I can, let me see if I can grab my flashlight. Hold on. <clears throat> you know what? My flashlight might still be upstairs. Don't mind my big butt and my ill-fitting shirt. Okay. Am I doing this right? All right, so it's a candle holder. You stick a candle in there, you're going to see some very pretty blues. Oh, is this? Oh, there's felt on the bottom. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, It says made in Brazil at the bottom. All right, Barbara's in at 10. Thank you, Barbara. So, totally fuzzy down there. Is that, there's a teeny tiny druzy little spot right there at the bottom. And this thing is kind of sizable. I should probably look at my ruler, huh? Cat, hello. Hi, Babette. All right, Cat's in at 12. Let me grab my ruler. Hold on, y'all. I'm so, like, ill-prepared all the time. All right, give me a second. <laughs> I will, while I'm here, check out my uh, Black Friday. Ooh. My Black Friday leggings. This thing's pretty sweet. All right, so here we go. This thing is... It's about three and a quarter high and about three and three quarters wide. So there we are. All right, Cat D's got high bit at 12. And again, this is just residue. This comes off. So it's not, those aren't scratches. It's just dirt. It looks like they probably had tape on it or something. And when they pulled it off, it got dirt on it. Aw, Carolee, you're so sweet. Thank you. All right. And if Barbara's not coming back at that one. Oh, nope, there she is. 13, thank you. So I guess you could probably put... I think I have tea lights over here somewhere. You know what? I have these things here, too. I don't know if anybody has any interest in this, but I'm throwing this in. This is, Hello, Mac. Welcome in. Uh, I have a whole pack of these, I don't know, Tuscan Hills hand cream, unopened. He's going to go in there. It's your hand cream holder. It's not a candle holder. It's for your hand cream. 
Uh, the set is uh, English Rose. <laughs> I think as I find these scattered about my room, I will add them to people's boxes. But anywho. Okay, trying again. Mama G matters at Mama G. Oh no, at, at mamag.com. <laughs> That's what I was thinking it said. Okay. All right, what do we think, Kat? Oh, look at Kat's official hello to everybody. That's so sweet. Alrighty. This actually would be cute to hold, like have your bathroom instead of putting candles in it. Hold your like little makeup brushes or, I guess if they weren't that tall. Your hand cream, duh. Hand cream, hey Trina. All right, I'm cutting it down to Barbara. Here we go, going once, going twice. Final warning. And we are sold to Barbara for 13. Thank you so much. I gotta start. Ah, haha. <laughs> Let's start my boxes over for tonight. Well, this evening. How's everyone doing? How was your Thanksgiving? I haven't talked to anybody since the actual Thanksgiving happened. Ours was very nice. <clears throat> I hope you like the hand cream, Barbara. <laughs> All right, that'll be our first box tonight. All right, hold on. I'm muting for like one hot second. Just to clear my throat. All right, here we go. Here, what's up next? Let's see. This one feels a little lighter. Do we get a special guy? You missed the gobble song. I sang a Christmas song on my last show. A whole dang song. Ooh, okay, we've got towers. Oh, this guy's top is broken. Oh, he starts at a dollar. Okay, this one still had his thing. Oh. All right, here we go. These ones have some pricing. So here we go. This is what looks to be fluorite. One dollar start. Took an online break for several days. Missed you guys. Oh, we missed you too. I wasn't, I came in here and there. So this, it looks to be a point that the top is broken, but it'll obviously still stand for you. It's just a buckaroonie on this guy. Oh, happy birthday, Babette. Lindsay's in it a buck. Hello, Lindsay. Thank you. <laughs> we have success. <laughs> Wait, that was it, right? We'll work on it. Maybe we'll do some gobbly Christmas songs for actual Christmas. Look how pretty this one still is. Oh, I'm so sad that the top's broken off, but I guess that's why it's a buck. Now it's two. We're at two dollars with Lisa. This would be pretty too if you could like shave down the top. But honestly. I don't mind rough pieces of stone. I think it's cool because it gives you kind of an idea of what it does look like rough as well as how it looks polished. There's like half, the ones that are like polished at the bottom and, no, I'm sorry, rough at the bottom and polished at the top. That's like my favorite. Even though I own none, I love them the most. I should probably start collecting those, right? Should I turn my music down? Am I good? Can you guys hear me okay? I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm yelling. <laughs> I'm having trouble controlling the volume of my voice. Ah, yes. The bracelet. Look at the pretty little uh, lines on that one. Haha! -ha! Thank you, camera. Alright, so there's the top. And if we're all good, we'll call it down to Lindsay. Awesome. Thank you, Mama G. You can hear me now, right? Now that I remember to turn the mic on. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, there's like, I need to make a checklist for myself for real that says like, mic on, start broadcast, do your little intro thing, 
and then put your add yourself to the stream and get ready. Oh, the music is loud. How is... Oh, Broski! Hey, Jonathan! Welcome in! Hello, everybody! You guys were less than 20 away from 900. It is a tall order to get 100 subs, 120 subs by the end of the year, but if y'all can help me in any way, shape, or form, I would I would appreciate it. I would love to get to 1,000 by the end of the year. Boy, would I. Okay, here we go. We're going to count it down. Going once to Lindsay, and be sure to hit that thumb, if you guys don't mind. Going twice to Lindsay for three. Final warning. I got to try to remember to, like, look at the camera, too. And we are sold. Thank you, Lindsay. Ooh, let me start back. <coughs> Lindsay Okay, Lindsay Ann. In real life, do people call you Lindsay Ann or do they just call you Lindsay? I'm curious. All right, here's the next one. This appears to be a gold sheen obsidian. Oh, it pains me to sell this one. Five dollars is your price on this. The whole back is rough though, but to me, I think that's a bonus. I don't know if they're counting it against or not, because $5 seems pretty cheap to me, but... Oh, maybe because there's a ding. There's a little ding in this corner down here. But this is gold sheen. This stuff I really like. I have this in a sphere. I don't have a tower, but I got the sphere. Um, let me blind myself instead of you guys. Okay, you see... Let's see if we can somehow get this to focus on the obsidian and not my face. Okay, all right, hold it there, hold it there. Hold it there. All right, so the whole side has that sheen to it. And then the back is the rough side. So maybe you like that, maybe you don't. I don't know. It's all in everybody's taste. All right, I've got Mama G in first at five. I'm in my stream yard. I don't have my other thing up. Cats at seven. Thank you. Let me let me get my chat up on thinking. I don't have my live. I need to get my live so I can make sure I'm getting calling the right person here. So bear with me. Okay, let's just stop that now. All right, I've got Mama G at nine. Okay. Did you get your package, Mama G? Did it come? I just don't know about my mail. I've been taking it directly to the post office. All right, this and that. Woo! Mama G's at 12. Thank you, guys. Aw, thank you, Kiwi. Yes, I and it's be light soon. Look, I'm growing out the gray, y'all. I'm letting it happen. I'm just so sick of dyeing my hair that we're just gonna let it go gray and see what happens. Let's see. Look at that sheen. It does really good in direct light, like bright light coming in at it is the best way to see this stuff. All right, this and that at 13. Let me make sure I have your info. I feel like we've got, gone through this already, but maybe not. This and that. Do I have your information? If I don't, can you shoot it over to me? Pretty, pretty, please. Unless someone can vouch for you in the chat. If a moderator can vouch for you, then you're good to go. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to need your info before you uh, bid on anything else. Jonathan, what do you do for a living? Ooh. Loaded question. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Casey. Thank you so much. I, so 900 is the next big thing. And man, Kristen D is so wonderful. She's helped me out so, so, so much. Um, oh, have you? Okay, well, I guess I probably have it then. I, I just can't find it in my uh, list here. It's like her name is so familiar. Why can't I find her information? And I, I'm sorry, y'all, if I, <laughs> poor Ryan is like 
the biggest, um, uh, I don't know, victim of this from me. <laughs> well, thank you, Meg. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I forgot he existed like a couple times. Okay. All right, we got Mama G at 15. Oh, you bought with Kristen. Okay, okay, okay. She probably sent me your information then. I'm scratching my knee. Just so you guys know what I'm doing under here. Under the table. I'm scratching the knee. Okay. Oh, do I have any amethyst? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> All right, we're going to count this down to Mama G. If no one else is bidding. Here we go. Going once. Can you send it to me again? This and that. Oh, it's on this. Oh, it's not on the screen. Yes, let me put it in. Jewelry ETC channel at gmail.com. Bam. Well, hello, Caldwell First. Welcome in. All right, this and that is at 16. And um, feel free to be a bit on this and then send me your info. Just um, I just want to make sure I have it. Signed up under the wrong channel. Whoops. <laughs> That'll happen. Okay, all right. Gold sheen. There's also a silver sheen. Reminds me of my hair a little bit. Dark with a little, the little silver sheen to it. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeedy. All right, this and that is at 16. Oh, and Nance, Nance Adamson. Do you prefer Nance or Nancy? Let me know. I just don't want to call you by the wrong, wrong name. Crystal clear green piece of obsidian. So I've never personally seen it, and I don't trust it. I don't know. All right, Mama G's in at 17. <laughs> Thank you, Mama G. I don't know that it's real. I've read conflicting information on if it's even a real stone. I don't think it's a real stone. But I could be wrong. But from what I've, from what I've read, it's just glass. Which obsidian is glass. But this is a natural uh, volcanic glass that has little... Well, the sheen stuff actually has little tiny um, bubble inclusions in it. Which is what you're seeing when the light is reflecting off it. That's the sheen or like little bubble inclusion. Um, but the green stuff, I don't know that it's real. I do your research on it. Don't trust me. Oh, yay, Trina. I'm so glad you got it. How did you like everything? Um, Nancy is good. Okay. All right, cool. So I don't, I don't know. I don't have an opinion. I've never seen it in the flesh myself. I've never held a piece. Um, but from what I've, I'm, I don't know that it's real. <laughs> Long story short. It's that's what I got. Um, oh, do you, Kiwi? How did you score that? Where are you? All right, this net is out. Mama G's at 17. Here we go. Going once. Oh, dark side is it a 20? Let me peel this sticker off so we can see the whole sheen on the front of this thing, huh? Hold, please. This is supposed to be Christmas jazz. I don't get Christmas out of it at all, but I'm digging the jazz. Okay. Ha! No, I missed a spot. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cleaned out like five freaking bags of trash <laughs> for my little workspace here this weekend. And I still have more. I've just been hoarding trash. That's how I work. All right, so. If I can get it to like See, now that the sticker's not there. Okay, now that's still kind of holding for me. I need to get my flashlight down here. My real flashlight. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now we can see the whole dang thing. All right, so then there's a little divot off there, and then the whole backside is rough, but you can see there's some sheen in the rough side too, which is pretty cool. See it? That is neat. 
I don't know if they consider that flawed or not, but I consider that cool. <laughs> I like that. Um, let me turn my flashlight back off. All right, did we miss anybody? Are we still at Harley? Or Dark Side? Or Harley? Or Girl? I'm not sure which we go by. Moss Agate Sphere I got. The Jumbo one? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Mama G's out. Got it from... Oh, Sajin. Oh, okay. So it's sent to jewelry then. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that true? I didn't mean to click on that comment, but I didn't read it yet. Oh, yay! Rashida got her Jumbo XXXL Pyrite. That thing is beautiful. Alrighty. Alright. Going back. Dark Side's got it at 20. Here we go. Ah! that pin-up picture. All right, here we go. Going once. Going twice. Final warning. And we are ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum, sold to dark side. Thank you. This one is super cool. I don't know if there's more in there or not. I truly don't what's in this box, you guys. Nor do I know where my notebook went. Oh, here, here. Okay. I should probably like write things down that I saw, huh? <laughs> I didn't write down these either. Ooh. This is what I need. If anybody asks you guys what I want for Christmas, I need a new notebook. <laughs> if you're stalking me and you know me and you're looking for a Christmas gift, I need a new notebook. Um, okay. All right, so Lindsay got that fluorite. And dark side got this sweet obsidian. Okay. Oh my gosh, Mama G, how cool is this new StreamYard feature? The hide the comment feature? I bet you use that a lot. There's like in the chat, the chat is like constantly scrolling, you guys. And when you have a comment highlighted, sometimes your comment like ends up like way off the screen. So uh, it's super helpful to have this option to just remove it. Because otherwise you have to go back and find it to be able to click on it and make it go away. Anywho. Oh, yeah. Nancy, the thing was like, it was like half my face. It, You know what? Honestly, Rashida, I think it might be bigger than mine. I have been holding on to one because like, I've done this, I guess I only did it once, maybe I did it twice, where I like get in a new piece of pyrite and I love it more than the one I already had or the or it's bigger and I keep it and then sell the one that I've been hanging on to. So that one might actually be better than my own, but I didn't ever look at them side by side, so I don't know for sure. But it, it was beast. That one was a big piece. Um. Okay. Yes, I will invoice. I'll invoice tomorrow probably. All right, here we go. Let's go to the next one. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Here we go. Yeah, I know. It is heavy. Oh, okay. We got a big old palm stone. Oh, no, it's a free form. We got moss agate free form. Or maybe it's. No, it's got to be moss agate. All right. So that's what we'll do next. And then. Ooh, where's my flower at? Where's Mookie? I got a flower I get free form too. Look at that. All right, this one's not marked. We'll start with the one that is, which was 10, marked down to eight from the warehouse. So we'll start it at eight. Yes, this is from my wholesaler in South Carolina. South Carolina, not Colorado. Ooh, so it's very green. Very mossy. It does, it looks a little more opaque. It has like a what Gina would call a druzy window. Let's see if I can get it to actually. There we go. It's very opaque. So the druzy window is down there. See it kind of sparkling a little bit right there. All 
right, Lisa's in at eight. But it's very opaque, like the more dense kind of stuff. Scratch and dent. What are you talking about? Oh, okay, yeah. So this is, so my wholesalers, some of them have issues and some don't. I have no clue. They did a special mystery lot. Um, I don't know how many boxes are left. They they set up set it up so that there's 50 boxes total mystery lots. Um, it does look like Earth's, Earth from space. Or so we think. Dun, dun, dun! Did you know? I didn't know this. I just found out recently that we don't have a picture of Earth. Did you guys know that? Do your research on it. But I just learned this like the other week and was blown away. The picture that we have, like the stereotypical picture of Earth, is like multiple pictures stitched together. Um, and there hasn't been like a photo of Earth, like possibly ever. Maybe like once in the 70s or something like that. <clears throat> but not since. That blew my mind. Anyway, <laughs> back to this. So we do have a little quartzy spot there. The rest is very dark green. It's got a little bit of cream swirlies in it a little bit. Um, this, I don't see anything wrong with this. I don't see any dings or... There's... I guess it's not quite as... Well, no, it's still polished. I don't know. Like I said, some are, some are seconds and some are not. It's a mystery a lot. I have no clue. So uh, a lot of them still have the wholesale pricing on them. So this is from the warehouse. This is what they sell it to wholesalers for because that's what the warehouse does. It's a wholesaler. Um, so, yeah. There you go. All right. If no one else is into it, we'll give it to Lisa. Yeah. Do do your own research on it. But I, I didn't know that either. It's like, how is that possible? <clears throat> Kiwi. <laughs> You mean those aren't real? The ships are on strings? What? All right, here we go to Lisa. Going once. Going twice. Final warning. And we are sold to Lisa for eight. Nice score, my friend. All right, now this one doesn't have a tag on it. It is a, it's a smidgen bigger, as you can see. Um, and since this was originally 10, I think we'll start this one at 10, just because of the size and the material. It's pretty pretty from the back. What? Lindsay Ann came in? Oh, sugar, she totally did. My mistake. I didn't see that. Thank you, guys. This is why I have unofficial mods. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Retract, retract. My bad. We're still on game on. It's funny because there's a lag, right? So I, I see it and then I correct it, but then I, I still have to listen or like see the chat for the next, you know, 10 to 15 seconds telling me like, stop, it's not so. I'm like, I know. I knew 10 seconds ago, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. Lindsay Ann's got to hyphen at nine. Da, da, da. But thank you guys for real. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll tell you, typically, typically, not always, sometimes it's more, but typically, um, the wholesale pricing that I get from this particular seller, generally, the items are like double is their suggested retail price, if not a little bit more than that. So typically, like if you bought this from somewhere else, it would probably be $20, if not more. Do you have or can you get some rainbow obsidian? I don't know. <laughs> what are you looking for, um, Elizabeth? Like a sphere or, or a tower or what? All right. So what do you think, Lisa? If you're out, we're going to call it to Lindsay. I've had, the only thing I've ever had, no, remember one time, I don't know if you guys were with me when I opened it. I'm counting it down, but I'm counting slow because I know there's a lag. 
Oh, Lisa's out. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to count faster. Going once, going twice. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Final warning. And so to Lindsay and for nine. Thank you. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -boop -boop. I lost my train. It it jumped the tracks, y'all. I have no idea what I was just saying. Oh, the oh the rainbow thing. Um I got a whole bag of spheres once, but they were like all dinged up. I don't know why. They must have been like bumped around really badly in transit because uh, obsidian shouldn't scratch itself because they're the same hardness. So I don't know. There must have been some like impact damage or something. Oh, this thing. That's right. All right. Start bid 10. Bring on the geodes. I don't know if I have geodes in there. We'll have to see. All right, here we go. So this is the flower agate free form. He's very, very pretty back here. Look at that. It's really pretty. It's hard for me to kind of show you in this lighting because my lighting at this area doesn't do as well as over there, but it's kind of pinkish up here and then it gets a little more like lavender kind of color down here. <laughs> Let me know what you're looking for. I mean, I can I can look for anything. I'm looking for exactly what Mama G would like to have. Maybe there's some in here. Who knows? We'll find out together. All right, Karen's in a ten. Thank you. <laughs> Mama G, did you get your package yet? Inquiring minds need to know. I need to know if you got your birthday present. <laughs> Look how pretty it is back there. I love the back side of it. Ooh, is that Druzy? <gasps> it is. It's on the inside. Inside Druzy, right? It's a teeny tiny pocket of it right there. Internal Druzy. Oh, not yet. Bummer. Okay. All right, Lindsay's at 11. I love that side. That side's super smooth. This has like, oh my God, I love the way quartz feels when it's polished up all nice. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay. I really like this one back here. I asked for her, Laura. I have actually have her go say, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, Mama G, what are you looking for? <laughs> you didn't get your package yet, Mac? It's got to be my post office. But I took your package to the post office. Um, I think yours and someone else's was in my mailbox and no one picked it up for two days. Apparently my local mailbox, I right, recount this to Lindsay. Yeah, these are these are killer deals. Take advantage, y'all. Um going once. Maybe it was cats. No, because cats just started a box. I don't know what the other box was now that I think about it. Maybe it's Lisa's? I don't know, but in any case, there's two boxes that were filled, and they were, they didn't pick them up. So I found out that the um, final warning. Well, that's true too. You do live further. We have three routes, and like our post office has three like routes, three drivers, three routes. All three of the drivers were gone. All three out for different reasons. I don't know. I just overheard it when I was at the post office. All right, and we are sold. Thank you, Lindsay. Ooh, now I can write that down. Flower egg. Uh, so they like straight up weren't delivering mail. So after it was there the second day, I, I just took it to the post office. And then I, now I've been getting like, I got um, two deliveries in one day. <clears throat> They delivered once at like 8 in the morning and then again at like 5 in the afternoon. They delivered mail today, which is a Sunday. 
I don't I don't know what's going on. My post office is really weird right now. So I've just been trying as I can to take things directly to the post office. Um, what that means for you guys is I'm doing my best to take stuff there during the week, but it may end up having to wait till Saturday when I can take it on the weekend. Although two days, uh, week before last, I went there and nobody was like, they locked everything up. So I just don't know. But they told me that they're still uh, processing mail. So I have no clue. Do you really? I love this freaking thing. Well, I love sparkly, but I love teal. Teal's like my favorite color. And it's like that pretty teal color right there in the middle. All right, this one feels very light. Oh, really, Elizabeth? Okay, we'll see now. Robin, hello, welcome in. Oh, it's a sphere, guys. It's a sphere. Here we go. Place your bets, y'all. What is it? Ooh, what is it? <laughs> it's a Garnier, right? I think. <clears throat> is it? I don't know what this is. It's like a green cream color. It reminds me of Garnier, right? Which is a green moonstone. It just looks straight up gray on there. There's a little tiny like pitting in it, but it appears to be part of the stone and not damage. But this side is green. This looks like green moonstone on this side. Can you, are you guys getting green at all in that or just gray? Because it's definitely got green undertones to it. There's no price on it either. So here we go. We'll start it at eight. Same as the last one. How about that? <clears throat> no, my painting's not done. It's just, it's right over here. Psh. Staring at me. <laughs> it's like literally like right across from me. Going, paint me. Why haven't you painted me yet? I thought you loved me. I thought you wanted to give me a face. Like, nope, just the tail. We only care about the tail. All right, Lisa's in at eight. Thank you. Your guess is as good as mine is what this is. Um, if you guys want me to scratch test it, I can. Uh, if it doesn't matter to you, I won't. What that means... <laughs> I got it, Mama G. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm so flummy. Probably because I'm down in my basement. And it drives me out. Drives me out. So if I scratch it with quartz and it won't scratch, that means that it's Jasper. If it scratches, it means that it is something with probably it could be uh, the moonstone. Because that's, that's my debate, is is this a green moonstone that's like really dark or is it a jasper of some sort? Which I'm kind of leaning to it only because the polish feels so nice. Yeah, hardness test. It's definitely not black moonstone. It's got green to it. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to scratch. Hmm. What do I have over here? Of course, this means I have to find some quartz to scratch it with. <laughs> so that's kind of... That's the other part. Oh, you know what? All right, here we go. I'm gonna do a little teeny tiny. Can I, can I get it? I can't get it to scratch. All right, so I'm leaning towards Jasper then of some sort. It won't scratch. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean towards a Jasper. But I don't. I couldn't tell you what kind. Maybe it's an ocean jasper of some sort. It looks like a dang planet, though, doesn't it? Listen to this jolly music. All right, Lisa's in at ten. Thank you. <clears throat> I just don't know. I'm sorry. I'm like trying to figure it out by staring at it. As if I stare at it longer, it'll suddenly reveal itself to me. It's like a minty kind of green. Unless it's just this basket. Maybe it's more gray, gray and cream. I have like this bright green basket over here. That might be throwing some weird colors at me. When in doubt, it's Ocean Jasper. 
It's some variety of ocean, Jasper. All right, here we go. Lisa's in at 10. Everyone's out. We'll count down. Going once. Going twice. The post office liked you the best. What crystal shirt are you wearing? It's uh, just like watercolor. It's from Society 6. So, Misty, hello. Oh, Misty, I got, thank you, Lisa. I got the um, sphere. I'm just going to put sphere and then Jasper and a question mark. I got your emails or like the invoices and I'm just totally confused. I'll have to look at it after the show. Um, but I'll, I'll deal with it after the show. Or in the morning. So hopefully it's not super important. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Next up, let's see what it is. I'm so excited to find out what crystals we got. Ooh. Ooh. This one is big. Ooh, this one feels very big. Wow. Okay, so the shirt is a, is a website called Society6, and it's like an artisan website. It's like Etsy, but more like their art goes on T-shirts and blankets and mugs and whatever else. And you can buy the products that way. Um, and I bought this t-shirt. It's uh, kind of fitting. So, but it's comfortable. All right. I think it's, I'll have to check. Can we see what the tag says? This is so important right now, you guys. I'm trying to see if the, t I can't remember what size it is. Let's see if it fits true to size or not. <laughs> what is it? I'm going to end up tearing my own dang tag off. Trying to figure this out. Drum roll! What size is the shirt? Everyone's like, no, we want to see the crystal. Put your dang clothes back on. I can't freaking read the dang shirt. I'll have to figure it out later. Ha <laughs> ha! Everyone's like, I'm out of here. Bye. Ooh, it's on a stand. It's on a stand. <gasps> it's on a stand. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Unassuming random rock. Super deep druzy. That is interesting. It looks like a sculpture. This one was 23, marked down to 15. So that's where we'll start it on a little iron stand. So this would easily, like, I would easily sell this at 30 start easily. This thing is heavy as bananas. But also, if this is in a shop, this is, this is like a $50 piece. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so let me see if I can give you a little tour on the inside of this weird geode. Man, how do I show this and light in there for you guys to see. Does that work? Kind of, sort of. It's a very deep little Druzy cave in there. Um, I'm doing my dangdest. I'm sorry, guys. The Druzy is kind of... Um, Like, kind of on the bottom, mostly. I don't know. This is kind of bizarre going on in here. It's a carnelian. Huh. Can you guys see? You probably can't see that, but... Oh, ignore Mama G's message. <laughs> it's red. It's got red inside the, the chalcedony. It's like a red undertone to it. All right, yada, yada, yada. What so it's like it's a deep red, it's very nice polished. It's a really deep red color here, and then we've got kind of just some natural rock looking stuff there. The host rock. Oh, and there's a hole in the side of it, too. There's a hole. I really need my other flashlight. My flashlights keep getting freaking stolen from me. Arg, you're not gonna be able to see that. 
I'm trying so hard to show that red. Hopefully you can kind of see that it's it's red under there. But it is heavy. I mean it feels it feels heavy. But anywho, it's kind of pretty. I don't I don't know which way I would display it to be honest with you. It looks like a sculpture to me this way. <clears throat> Alright, Jonathan's at 22. Uh yes, maybe members of Very, very interesting piece. This is the bottom of it. So it's like drilled into the bottom there. The stand is. And this is metal. This is metal. I don't know what the metal actually is, but it reminds me of like cast a little bit. <clears throat> like an iron of some sort. I really, I really like the front of it. I don't know. It almost has purple undertone in there so it may be a little bit of amethyst in the jersey but you can barely tell on my camera it's a very very light purple in there <laughs> i tried to do this without like smashing my keyboard by dropping the dang thing which is always a possibility on this show see it it's like kind of pouring out of the bottom of it it's very interesting that's for sure all right, Lisa's at 23. Viv, hello, thank you. Jonathan's at 25. Oh, let me get you a measurement on this too, huh? We are looking. It's like six and three quarters um, from the bottom to the top of this thing. It's kind of hard to show you at that angle but yeah about six and three quarters and then you can see a bit more red at the top I think I feel like it's very more apparent there but then on the sides it's a bit not quite as red right at the opening there it's a hard piece for me to describe. I have not seen this. I've seen them cut like lengthwise. I haven't seen them like elongated like this. This is very different, but it is fully polished. The front feels really nice. <clears throat> All right, Lisa's out. Jonathan's at 25. I'm going to call it down. Going once to Jonathan. And thank you guys for coming in. Hit the thumb if you're feeling like your thumb is just like, hey, you're forgetting all about me. Just feel like, all right, here you go. All right, going twice. Final warning. And sold to Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. All right. Twenty-five. Geode on stand. Mookie Pookie, you missed the flower I get, my friend. Um, okay, let me. Let me do a basket for Jonathan. That one is, is different for sure. And you're welcome. All right, hide that. How are you guys doing on your holiday shopping? I think I'm done. My bedroom is a catastrophe. I have bags of stuff. I've got boxes that haven't been open that are just like taking up space in my room. I need to wrap stuff. I've started wrapping already. I'm trying to store everything in my closet. Meanwhile, I'm trying my darndest to keep the kids out of the closet. What happened? Aw, Mookie. Okay. <laughs> Half Mookie, and it looks like Elizabeth wants to pay it too. Half Mookie and half Boo. Oh, you guys are so darn sweet. Congratulations, Jonathan, and thank you, Mookie and Elizabeth. I'm done, been done for weeks. Are you wrapped up? 
I keep like seeing things and I'm like, wait, what about this person? Or like, I don't think I have enough presents for that person. Maybe I should buy more. Still shopping for the kids. It's going to get tough. I started shopping a couple months ago, but like, I just don't, I'm afraid that I've forgotten somebody or I haven't gotten enough. But I think I'm okay. Actually, I, I wrapped up my shopping today, I think. <clears throat> um, and me and my middle son. Feels rough. Me and my middle son went shopping for a tree for my kid's room. <laughs> Stop it. Again, the best group. Yes, I agree. All right, here we go. Ooh, amethyst. Who's asking for amethyst? Ooh, it's a big one, too. Ooh, it's dusty. It's been on their shelf for a minute. All right, hold on. Let me test really quick. All right, it stands. It stands, you guys. Let me see if I can show you. I'm going to try my best. To... Okay, it's it stands like this, you guys. Who is asking for the amethyst? There it is. Ask and ye shall receive. Uh, there is no tag on it, though, so we're going to start it at $5. Me, me, me. Kiwi says me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. There we go. There's a big chunk of it. But it's a steal of a deal. But there's no tag on it, so I gotta start low. In the spirit of the holidays. Start it low, let it grow. Where's the, uh, where's my... Ah, here it is. Man, this thing is like camouflage against this box. That was stupid of me, huh? All right, here we go. Um, This one is roughly three and a quarter inches one way and roughly three and a half the other and roughly let's see the tallest part maybe two inches tall Ooh, okay all right harley just jumped right in there thank you harley it is a very very nice chunk i'm very happy that this is in there i love getting amethyst I just, I don't know if you guys are, saw me. I got a lot of amethyst and some other uh, quartz last night from Westside Gary. Well, not from Westside Gary. Um, Pickers Warehouse was on his show. I was on in the chat. Like, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm just here to watch and read my book tonight. That worked out really well. No, it didn't. All right, Karen's got high bit at 15. I've got hair stuck to me. It feels like there's a loose tooth. Where is it? One of these little teethers are. <gasps> yes, there's Druzy on Druzy. Okay, look right here. There's a little bit of Druzy on top of the Druzy. Do you see it? I love when they do when they do when they do that. I love when they do that. See that little cluster of Druzy? There's like little quartz Druzy on top of the amethyst. Look at this point. That one's nice. Okay. <clears throat> Karen's at 19. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday to you, Jonathan. Jonathan's your birthday? This chat can be you. Where do you think everybody's come from? We all share our, we have the same people in our chats. <laughs> That's why both chats are awesome. Because the people in the chats are awesome. All right, Karen's at 19. Isn't it pretty? I like this one. I like it. I like it a lot. Look, it's like takes up my whole hand. Harley, it's not aura coated. Nope, this is just straight up amethyst. That sparkle is all him or her, it, whatever. They're all boys to me. I don't know. It's all him. Oh, look, there's more. Is that the same one? No, it's not. Look, there's more Druzy on the side too. That's the one I was pointing out earlier. This is another little cluster. Do you see it? On, by growing on top of that point, they call that um, fairy quartz or cactus quartz when it does that. I haven't seen it like, like the clear quartz on amethyst. That's new to me. That's cool. That's so cool. You can see into it too. Look at this. So like the, there is another crystal here that fell out right here. And so you can see up into the the phantoms inside of this quartz. The phantom of the amethyst is here. 
inside this corpse. All right, that's super duper cool. And you get a song. All right, Harley's at 23. Karen's at 24. That's too neat. That's super duper neat. I wonder what this is actually priced at. That's darn cool. I'm admiring it myself, y'all, because once it's purchased, I don't get to ogle it anymore. All right, Dark Side's out. Oh, you're out. Okay, Kanis. Thanks for coming in, Mookie. Thank you. <laughs> she was nabbing some rocks, y'all. I was about to go out. That happens to me a lot. I like, I'll sit there and I'm like, all right, this is my last bid. I'm going to go out when the next person bids. And then it doesn't happen. <laughs> like, oh, I guess I'll buy it. All right, here we go. Woo, going once to Karen. Going twice to Karen. Oops. All right, final warning. And we are sold to say goodbye to the amethyst, for it is now Karen's. Thank you, Karen. That one's very, very pretty. I like that a lot. All right. I'm going to put this in the box and not a bag. I don't want it to break or crust apart. Oh, there goes that other thing. You know what? I think, Karen, you have a box. Let me see. Mac, Billy, Kojak, and Steve. Maybe I don't have a box. You know. Oh, that's cat. Okay. All right, no worries. Let's start a new one. There's my tape. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mama G. Okay, cool. All right, I would love to hit the, I would like to at least hit 900 before the end of the year. I think that's totally doable. We're going to have to do something super special for a thousand. I don't know what, but we'll figure it out. I mean, other than the giveaways. Which, like, obviously we're going to do giveaways. You have, okay, so, like, <laughs> I always confuse people with this. So to explain again. For those of you that weren't here when I was talking about it, this is a box during the show. When I ship, I move everything from here into your shipping box or bag. But during the show, this is a box. This is a bag. So when I'm saying, like, I'm starting a bag for you, it's just, like, for tonight. Anything else is over on my shipping rack. I think rack is what I can call that thing. It's like a metal shelving unit I have over there. All right, what's next? What's next? Ooh, this one feels heavy. I feel like there might be more than one thing in here. <laughs> here we go, place your bets, y'all. Ooh, we got hearts. We got a red. Ooh, what are you? It looks like red jasper on that side. And it looks like moss agate on that side. It's like a red mossy heart. Oh, but okay, here's another one of those like really dark kind of mossy ones. It's really dark green. That one's only a $3 start. I know, I love mystery boxes. Ooh, I like this one. Check that out, that's definitely OJ. Look at that, that one is gnarly. No price on it though. All right, let's start with the one that's priced. Starting bid three bucks on this guy. He's got like, he's not polished as nicely as he could be. I don't know what, ooh, oh, it's a lab. Shut the front freaking door. Did you see that? <laughs> I didn't know it was a lab, look. Wait, I gotta catch it again now. Oh. He's a shy lab, and he's a labradorite. Look, do you see the flash in there? Ah, that means he should be see-through. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the sticker off so I can get him to flash a little bit better and see if he's got any more. 
What other secrets are you holding, my heart friend? Let us find out. All right, Lisa's got habit at five. This is kind of leaving some sticky residue on there. I'm sorry. Try to get it off. All right, he's got sticky residue. Okay, all right. Can, yeah, there is there is a little bit of blue under his sticker, so I'm glad I took it off. All right, he's not the best polished job, though. And he's not super flashy. He's definitely a shy flasher. He's a shy flasher. He's not like, ha! He's like, he's shy. Let me see if there's any on the other side. There is some on the other side, but again, he's not super flashy. All right, we can't. We can't get you'll just have to play with them and get them to flash for you <laughs> why do i say these things i don't know all right barbara's gonna <laughs> six Lindsay's out this should too be um translucent because labradorite is so let me see if i can get them to do that anyway Boop. do you guys know that lab is translucent see He's got the green underton. That's what was throwing me off. I was like, why is it green? Is it Ocean Jasper? No, it's Lab. Labradorite, Labradorite. I need a Labradorite song. Labradorite. Da da da. You're so flashy, but sometimes not. All right. I'm sorry. Apparently, I'm in a mood tonight. Here we go. Six to Barbara going once. Going twice. Heart shape is nice to hold while meditating. It is kind of nice, isn't it? All right. Final warning. I don't know, Robin. I was blown away when I discovered that. Oh, Robin's at seven. I'm trying to rub the sticky off. <laughs> I'm looking at it like, where is your flash, dude? It's got some more up there at the top. It's just like really subtle though. Oh, okay. That's not quite as subtle right there. And there's like dark blue right below it. I didn't even see that one until I saw it on the camera. That's a full rainbow up there. You can even see a little bit of purple in that one. Oh, Misty. I had, I had one of those a while ago. I had, um, some mahogany obsidian ones of those hearts. Robin, oh, excuse me. All right, Robin's at Barbara's at eight. It, it, yeah, I'm surprised to have found. This is the thing with lab. When you guys get lab, anytime you purchase Labradorite, play with it and see if you can get it flash. <laughs> because sometimes it's just like sneaky, sneaky flash. You just have to like look at it at every freaking angle to find it sometimes. That's all. Yeah, I've got obsidian ones, the mahogany ones. All right, Robin's out. Barbara's at eight. Here we go. My contact lenses are drying out. Go on. Let's see, do I have it? I got my peeper juice around here somewhere. Going twice. Me and my friend used to call it peeper juice. Doesn't it kind of, I kind of like keep catching it. It looks like I have a dimple. I totally don't. All right, final warning. And we are sold to Barbara for aid. Woo, thank you, Barbara. It is all yours. Oh, you know what? I think I might have a bag up here. I do. Okay. This doesn't have a price on it either. Let's start this one also at three. It's bigger than the lab. I don't know what it is, though. Oops. Bam. Uh, it looks like it might be a red moss agate. 
It's polished jaw leaves a little to be desired, though. There's like a little bit of some rougher spots. Like up here, it's not fully like super smooth. This kind of has like the greenish kind of color to it. And then it fades over here to the red. And then the backside is like totally red. But again, it's got a little rough, rough spot right there. It's like a matte finish, if that makes sense. But we'll start them at three. So, so sweet. <clears throat> Aww. I can't, who was all in on that? I can't even remember. All right, Lindsay's at three. Thank you. Um, Elizabeth wrote me a very sweet note for all, all of the people that pitched in for her Labradorite kitty. All right, Lisa's at four. I'm going to have to, like, go on a search and find for my eye drops. My, like, this room must be just really dry. I don't know why it's so dry down here in the basement. My con or maybe it's just the time of the day, because, like, honestly, it doesn't seem to matter where I am. My contact lenses dry out like crazy at nighttime. Does anybody else have contact lens struggles like me? This one also kind of has that earthy, earth from above look to it. On this side. Oh, and there's the side. It's, like, almost split perfectly down the side. How about that? Isn't that cool? But this next one is so cool. I love this next heart that's coming up. All right, Lindsay's at five. There's the bottom. Bottom is like white. I didn't even show it. My thumb's been covering it. There's that. I definitely like, I think I like this side the best. Not that there's anything wrong with the red. I just really like this kind of multi-tone thing going on. Yeah, right? It's got to just be my contact lens in the time of the day. Scummy and dry. It's like right around, usually around 7, 8, which is when my show starts, typically. It just starts going bad. It's all bad. All right, I've got Lindsay at 8. What do we think, Lisa? How many rock critters are in your collection now? Good question. Question for Elizabeth. How many rock critters do you have? I'm going to peek over here. This doesn't do... You guys aren't shaking when I do that, right? Because I have, like, my camera is not mounted to my computer. It's, it's on its own mount. Let me see. Let me peek. Ha! Ha! I got him. All right, Lisa's out. Dang, I kind of love this one. Listen, for five bucks. Going once. Decide quickly, Rashida. <laughs> if your love is worth five dollars. Going twice. Final warning. All right, here's the thing about my painting, too, y'all. If you guys have been watching me paint the mermaid, which I've been, like, dying to get back to. The problem is I gotta make something for my father-in-law for Christmas. So I'm thinking I'm being good. All right, here we go. We're sold to Lindsay and for five. Thank you. I might need to paint that before I get to the mermaid. Even though I'm like dying to paint that mermaid because she stares at me all the time. Thank you, Lindsay. Um, so what do you all think? Do you want to see me paint something else that's not the mermaid? Because I'm going to have to paint it one way or the other. Because I don't know what to get him. <laughs> I'm such at a loss. It's like, it's hard to shop for a father-in-law, right? All right, here we go. We're doing this next one. God, I love this um, I'm going to start it at eight, I guess. Eight dollar start on this one, which has got to be an ocean jasper. Oh, it's so cool. So we've got the lavender and cream, and then there's a little bit of green kind of. That's got to be the vacuum. Can you guys hear that? If I point the mic towards the ceiling, maybe you can hear it. It sounds like there's like a really loud drone flying like up there somewhere. <laughs> All right, cat using at eight. Um, 
the top is like red and then it has little teeny tiny orbital uh, little spots in it. See it? The white. It's really cool. This one is just super duper cool. And it's big. This one is a big boy. <laughs> nope. Like, nope, you're just crazy. We got um, a new vacuum. So from like, it's about three and a quarter inches like this way, like from the, the tip to the top. Um, we got a new vacuum. My mom bought me a vacuum, which was awesome. Ours was like several years old. It was missing a filter. It stunk every time you ran the dang thing. It was just, you know, no good. She, she got us a new one as an early Christmas gift. And the thing runs like a dang dream. We pulled up so much stuff out of the rug. It was incredible. We vacuumed it. And then we vacuumed it again. It was still pulling stuff up. <laughs> it's like, this is incredible. Like, this is how you know you're an adult when you get excited about how well a vacuum performs. All right, if nobody else is going to fight for this one, we'll call it to Cat. And uh, that's a steal of a deal. It's a nice one. Going once. I don't see any flaws with this thing. No dings in it or nothing. Going twice. Final warning. Sold. Sold, sold, sold. Thank you, cat. All yours. Cat. OJ Spia. Let me get back. Actually, no, you have a box somewhere. The very bottom one already has your name on it. Put you in the top. Put you up there. Awesome. All right. Let's get to the next bag. Woo. Congrats, indeed. That was a steal. All right. Here's a teeny tiny one. It feels super duper light. What will it be? Let us see. Oh, look. It feels faceted, like a tower, maybe. Oh, is Max still here? It's a pyramid. It's like a, it's got a little tiny, okay, well, let me show you. It's got a little tiny abrasion at the top there. It's not polished. It almost looks like the other kind, like the lighter lab, but it also looks like moss agate on the bottom. Let me shine a light and see if it's opaque or not. I mean, not that like Mac is the only person who can bid on one of these things. It is, it is a little see-through just in the side there. It's like a green, it's got a green undertone. Um, but it's a $4 start on this guy. This little wee pyramid. Nothing here for Mac to see. Don't look. <laughs> I don't know that Mac was here. I guess he must be somewhere around. He's probably um, auction hopping, like so many of us tend to do. But there we go. So it's four bucks. It does have the little nick at the top there. There's some swirliness going on. The bottom is kind of cool. All right. Cat's got in first at four. Lisa's at five. This and that's at six. It's like a gray and green. I don't, this reminds me so much of Moss Agate on the bottom. And there's like the corner right here. If you can hear my nail dragging against it. It has like flea bites on the side there. It's very, they're small. That's not uncommon in this, uh, in these pyramids. Just because that's where they're sitting. This looks like quartz to me, though, does it not? This must be more of like a moss agate or something. Something in the quartz family. But I know that um, Matt collects these things. All right. Lisa's at seven. Thank you. 
Oh, and to get a measurement on it. Get to counting, Robin. Hold on, I'm going back up to read about the thing. Oh, and this one is uh, one and three quarters inches on the on a side. One and three quarter inches. Those are the ones I can see. Um, don't tell Robin, but I counted turtles just in this room. Twenty-two? <gasps> are you serious? Wow. <laughs> the 80 pound one in the other room hibernating. <laughs> Do you have a tortoise or something? All right, this is that. This and that is out. Let me call it to Lisa. <laughs> All right, going once to Lisa for seven. Going twice. Oh man, my hair is doing some funny things. Look at what is with this one thing. I have like an alfalfa sprout. I don't know which way it wants to go. Final warning. What's his name? I didn't know you had a turtle. All right, and so is it a tortoise? Do you have a tortoise? All right, sold to Lisa for seven. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I. Oh, Sage, I like that name. Where's Lisa? Oh, Lisa's bag's right here in my hand. All right, brief, super brief uh, camera stop so I can put eye drops in my eyes and not do it on the live stream, even though I was, you know, showing my bra strap not but 20 minutes ago <laughs> to try to figure out what my shirt was. Whoa. See, I'm always afraid, like, when I put eye drops in, is it going to make all my makeup run down my face and look like I was crying? Um, let me look. Did, see, did it do it? Am I okay? Uh, let's see. No. Damn. No, but I did get... Uh, an invite to perform at the Planet Noise Festival. Okay. No, I didn't get it. Should I join Planet Noise? The Planet Noise Festival and sing like a turkey? You're like, oh yes, you know me from my popular YouTube channel. Allow me to sing you a Christmas song. <laughs> You'd be like, boo, get off the stage. Oh, this is heavy. Yeah, 80 pounds is actually quite light for a tortoise. Yeah, what do you do when you die? Who gets the tortoise? I've always wondered that. Same with those, like, the, the parrots. Those, like, African greys. My ex wanted a parrot so badly. An African grey. I was like, what are you going to do with it when you die? <laughs> Things going to outlive you. Um... I guess a turtle could go to a sanctuary or something. I didn't count turtle jewelry though. And yes, thank the friends who poached the same for me. Yeah. He's only 15. Okay, yeah. See, that's young. All right, here we go. Yes. We've got a Jasper. Um. Oh, what? There's all Drew's cave inside. That is wild. Look at that. No price on him, though. Um, I think it's actually Mookite. I don't think it's Red Jasper. It looks like a Mookite. Kind of that kind of red. And, yeah, I guess you would have to will it to somebody. Ooh. Ooh, it's, a, it's another fluorite. Oh, a chunk just fell off. It looks like it was a polish point, maybe. It's polished flat on this side and this side. But then the rest of it is, is uh, rough. So I don't know what's going on with that one. All right, let's start with the Mookite with the Druzy Cave, which is freaking fab, by the way. 
We'll start them at 10. We'll start them at 10. Look at the little sparkle in the rough. I love this little piece. This is too cool. And then, look, it's got a little Druzy cave. A little spidey hole, some might say. Oops, I forgot to put it starting bid. Yeah, there we go. See it? Now I kind of like, let me give it a little flash. I don't know if it's quartz or it's calcite in there, but I'm going to find out if I can tell. All right. It looks like it's quartz in there. So yeah, there's a little there's a little quartz pocket in there, which is pretty darn cool. We had a like a flyer. It wasn't the person I knew who had a tortoise, but we had a flyer up a couple years ago for someone who lost their tortoise. <laughs> they were all on Facebook, like, I've lost my tortoise. He was like not that far away at all. But he had apparently pushed his way out of their fence and like made it into a neighbor's yard a couple doors down somehow. My sister lends a friend who got one of those little green turtles and she was a little girl and the thing lived for over 50 years and grew up with her kids. I mean, the, the other part of that is how cool to have a pet that you don't ever have to like mourn, you know? I mean, I guess sometimes it happens, but you know. All right, Bonnie's in a 10, thank you. Oh, well, there you go. Made into an elixir. They used to say that Jasper, when you did that, uh, would help you lose weight. Like, give me all the Jasper. <laughs> Put it in my ice cream. <laughs> Put it in my eggnog. I need some Jasper. All right, so this is cool. We still, we're not done yet, y'all. We got like, we've got like six packages left, I think. Some of it might be the stuff I bought. I don't know. All right. If nobody else is into it, we'll call it down to Bonnie. Going once to Bonnie. I may have to do this again. This is fun. If they have any left, who knows? I haven't checked. But if they have any of these mystery lots left, I'm going to have to do this again. This is fun. At least I think it's fun. I don't know how you all feel about it. But your opinions are welcome and appreciated. All right. Final warning. And sold to Bonnie for a steal of a deal at 10. Thank you, Bonnie. All right. Blue kite point. Ooh, knock in the face. My face, my face. For Bunny. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's pretty wild. All right, this guy is all, he's all, I don't know what to make of this. We're going to start him at five. He was supposed to be a tower, I'm fairly certain of that. Like a half rough polish. So this side is flat. This side is flat right here, and then this is flat, and then this is flat. So I'm guessing this was the point, and it must have broken off here, maybe probably while they were polishing it. But it's a really, really nice chunk of fluorite. It's green fluorite, like a pale minty green fluorite. It's very, very pretty, and it's still, okay, so it's flat here, so it should, it could sit like this. So that, very obviously, this is where the top was supposed to be. All right, Robin's at five. Thank you. I hope I have some carved stuff in here. That'd be cool. I'm not going to hold my breath, but we can hope. Oh, my gosh. My, um, my, she's not a neighbor as such. She doesn't live that close to me, but she lives somewhat close, like 10, 15 minutes away. Um, she has a tortoise. And apparently it's, heater died one time and this thing is huge i don't know how big it is but i know it's over 100 pounds their tortoise i don't remember its name but in any case the heater died outside and they didn't know that it died and they went out there and the thing was just like and they didn't know if it was dead or not because 
it, you know, they're cold blooded. So they didn't know if it was just like really cold and couldn't move or like if it was dead. So her husband, her, and I think they had to get their older kids to come to help and pick up this tortoise and bring it inside to warm it up and make sure it wasn't dead. <laughs> it was not dead. It warmed up and like roamed their basement. It was like living in their basement for a while. Um, oh no, Mac, why wouldn't they cover that? That seems very medically significant. Why wouldn't they cover it? That's weird. All right, if no one else is in, we'll call it to Robin for five. Here we go. Going once. Going twice. Final warning. And sold, sold, sold to Robin. Thank you. We're going to get it back. Awesome. Yeah. I, I don't understand that one. I would be throwing a fit. Oh, whoops, Robin. I'm just going to call it the fluorite chunk. Um, mostly because I just like to say chunk. It's a fun word. I like to use it often. All right, here we go, y'all. How many do we have left? I don't know. Uh, maybe there's a lot in here. God, I don't know. I can't because some is bubble wrapped, which is probably my normal order. And then some is like this, which I think is the mystery stuff. And it looks like there's a lot of mystery stuff. In there. If there's a second bubble wrap thing under this one, then I'll know. Gosh, there is! You guys, there's so much mystery stuff. This is so fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. It's a flame. It's a flower ragged flame. It's a flower ragged flame. <gasps> no price. Oh, that's a good one. All right, we have a flower ragged flame, y'all. This one's pretty. Yeah, if it's ordered by your clinic, I don't get that. That's weird. I would complain. All right. I don't know what the wholesale. My guess is it would probably be around the $12 to $15 range, but we'll start it at $10. Hello, Wes. Oh, my gosh. It's so fun. It's like jewelry, but better. <laughs> okay, I see. There's the very tip of it is dinged. Can you tell? I didn't see it at first. There should be a sharp tip here, but there isn't. It's just not pointy. I'm trying to catch it in the light, but I can't quite get it. But I don't see anything else wrong with it. Oh, look at that cluster of flowers there. It's so pretty. Okay, so it's not that orange. It's more of a pink. Let me hold it back here. This is the color it is. My camera like changes colors. I don't know why. It's very annoying. See, when I get close, it turns orange, but it's not, it's not orange. It's more of like a, a pinkish with maybe a hint of lavender down there. But that looks like a straight up flower bouquet right there. And I love it. Just the tip that's right here. <laughs> uh, all right. There we go. I'm just going to leave it there for a hot second because I think that's so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Ignore the ink on my finger. It just looks like it's coming out of a little bouquet. I love it. It is rough right there. Natural imperfection in the stone, y'all. Look at all those little flowers. Ah, I love it. Babbitt's in a 10. Thank you. Thank you, Mama G. Hit that thumb, y'all, if you don't mind. There we go. That's a little closer to what it actually is. There. Time was Jewel by Deborah. Hello. Welcome in. No apologies needed. I hope you're doing well. All right. Okay, you know what? This is really silly for me to have a picture of myself up in the corner. I didn't realize that was there. Let me take that down. There. <laughs> 
It's like, why am I on the screen twice? That was stupid. All right. Oh my gosh, if no one else wants it, that it's going to steal this one. That one's really, really pretty. It's tall, too. I'll tell you right now, I'd probably start this for at least 18 if, I, if it wasn't this show. That's gorgeous. All right, here we go. We're going to call it down to Babette. Going once. And that's considering the tip. The tip. Oh, Nina Lover! I haven't shipped your stuff yet. I got to weigh it. I got to do that while I'm down here tonight. All right, Nina's in at 12. She's in at 12. I don't know if you saw Nina, but the top is not there. Just the very tipper, tipper Rooney is missing. But they call these flames. This is a little uh, flame. All right, Babette's back at 13. Why does it look like I got gray going down here already? I don't. But it certainly looks like it in the camera, doesn't it? Admire the bouquet. Admire it. Admire it. All right, Nina's in at 14. <laughs> All right, pause. I love water. All right, what was the consensus on the boat? Are you guys going to watch me paint a boat if I start painting that? If I do work on the boat, it's probably going to be Tuesday that I go live to paint. Not to sell, but to paint. Because right now, we hosted Thanksgiving. Which was wonderful. I love hosting. Um, and my house is actually kind of clean. So I don't have to like spend my day off cleaning the house. Probably tidying up a bit, which I'll probably do that tomorrow. It's not that bad. Yeah. I love hosting because it forces me to clean my house. <laughs> oh, right. I just noticed we have 26 people in the chat. Thank you guys so much for being here. I know there's a lot of auctions going on tonight. I appreciate y'all being in this one. All right, Nina's at 14. We're going to call it going once. Thank you, Babette. Going twice. Final warning. And so, oh, and, and, you know, Tuesday afternoon, I don't know what time it'll be. Um, thank you, Nino. They refunded my shipping. PayPal did, so we're good. I just dropped that crystal on my keyboard. No worries. Um... Oh my gosh, come on, pen. You're a new pen. You shouldn't be acting up like this. Okay. Oh my gosh, such goodies in that box. All right, here we go. The magic continues. All right, here we go. I almost just sort of lost control of that. No, I haven't, but I'm not surprised. I did it to the post office today, too. Ooh, look at this little guy. We've got a little point. I have... No, I guess I sold them. I had these recently, but they're a lot darker. This one's very light, like a lavender color amethyst. And... Oh! I don't think you can sell this one. Like it's a, it's a, um, it's a quartz one. Did I keep? I don't know if I kept the last. I found one in the last batch of these that I got that I freaking loved, and I couldn't let it go. Oh, I love quartz. Oh, I really like this one. It's got a lot of rainbows in it. Do I have one already? <laughs> I don't even know if I already have one or not. I'm checking my little. I'm trying to see if I can see it in my box. Oh, I do. I totally have one over there already. I love this. Okay. Let's do the little guy first. He's so rainbowy too. Oh my gosh, Deborah, you should see this guy's super rainbow. 
And he doesn't look flawed at all. I don't know why he would be in here. I love this one. Okay. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. I can't keep them all. My, I buy locally sometimes from this um, mineral shop, and he always tells me I can't eat rocks. I'm like, that's true. That's fair and valid. I can't eat rocks. I don't know what this thing would start at. Uh, there's no tag on it, so we will start it at, let's start at $8. Eight bucks probably be about wholesale cost maybe on this guy. This is amethyst. Half polished. So the bottom's totally rough on these, and then the top is like ultra polished, obviously, like point. Um, and it's pretty. I love the half polished ones. I really do. All right, Bonnie's in it. Hey, thank you. Oh, I meant to bring a stand down here. I don't know if I did it or not. Oh, you know what? I think it might be in here. I think it's in here. Oh, that reminds me. Shoot. When it, I Maybe I put it in your bag already. Um, Jenny sent me something for you, you know, to put in your box. I just got to make sure I get it in there. Is this one on batteries? I don't feel like it. Hold on. This one? You? Ha! That's awful. <laughs> it's so bright you can't even tell. In a dark room, though, it would light up. I'm just trying to see what it would look like on a stand. That doesn't help sell it at all, so let me just stick that back aside here and pretend that never happened. Whoops, not a bid. Oh, did you not want to bid? Okay, hold on. Is that a retraction? Okay. All right, we're still at a starting bit of eight on this guy. Ooh, my eye. Yeah, that's true, Barbara. That's true. All right. He's got a little bit of flashy in there. He's got a, like a smoky kind of bit on that side too. It's really pretty. There's, um, you can see barcoding, which is interesting. Actually, there's a lot of barcoding. All right, so it looks like all the sides of this thing had... I wonder, it can't be a natural point. It looks like all these had crystals growing on the sides of them that broke off. Okay, there we go. That side for sure. This side also... So this must, and there too, see, you can see where crystals were growing, like, butt up against this thing. I just think that's really interesting. See the, like, banding? So I don't know how they ended up polishing this, but anywho. Bonnie's finger wanted it. She's like, I don't. And her finger's like, she's like, stop! Don't hit enter! I said no! <laughs> All right, we'll set this one aside. No worries. All right. I can't let it go yet. It's too pretty. It's so pretty. We'll consider it for later. All right, let's see what else we got. The tag is not a price tag. It says made in Brazil. I don't think you can tell, but it, it just says made in Brazil. All right, here we go. Here's the next one. Oh, uh, okay. These are not these are not part of the deal. I gotta price these out later, but I have a bunch of opalite palm stones. Okay. So these obviously not part of the deal. Ooh, that one has a There's an inclusion in here. That looks like it looks like tourmaline, like a tourmaline needle. I laugh because opalite is a man-made stone, so I don't know. How that happened, but anyway. All right. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, and these are my moonstones. Okay. 
We've got moonstone, we've got opalite. Those are the palm stones, though. Those aren't for sale tonight. Right. Ooh, what are you? It's so heavy. Oh, wow. I almost just dumped these all over myself. Oh, my goodness. Holy cannoli, y'all. This has got to be like two or three pounds of just straight up stones. This is a tiger's eye heart. Let's, let's look at that. We'll pull a couple out at a time. Oh, that's pretty. What are you? We'll investigate that in a second. Look at this. Oh, this looks like an, uh, that orca jasper, or orca carnelian, carnelian. That is beautiful. And this is a giant lot of mixed tumbles. Holy crap. Look at that. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a face. <laughs> With a big schnoz, just like me. Wow. There's like a whole, there's some hematite in here. It's a little hematite tumble. Holy moly. Carnelian. What are these? I don't know. It might be green moonstone. It might be septarian. That looks like green moonstone. Or not septarian. Serpentine. <laughs> Cat. Ooh. Oh, I just dropped a quartz. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, well, we'll figure that out in a second. Let's do these bigger ones. Let me throw these back in here. Let's do these bigger ones. Maybe we'll do like a, a rock, like a tumble lot. Yeah, opalite, it's a glass, kind of like um, goldstone. Goldstone. So look at that. All right, this to me kind of looks like seraphinite, but not quite. I don't know what this is. Truth be told, but it's shiny. Um, this might be that green mic guy. I can't think what it's called right now. Uh, I can't think what it's called. It looks like the green mica. It's got that kind of flex going on, and it, it is green. Kind of the color moss agate, but the flecking is more mica. Like a lapidolite, like a green lapidolite. The same family. I can't remember what it's called, though. Um, no price on this one, though. Unless it was on the package, but I don't think it was. Uh, we'll start this one off at, uh, let's say seven. Seven bucks. Green mica, we'll call it. Sphere. It's so, so sparkly on that side. The other side, not as much. Good night, Mama G. Thanks for coming in. I'm going to need more water in a second. That is so pretty on that side. I love that side of it. Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. That's very obviously the show side to me. The other side reminds me a bit of Ocean Jasper. On that side. But if there's no one interested, we'll set him aside with that amethyst that we were looking at earlier. And uh, let's talk about this tiger's eye. He's so cool. $3 on him. For the tiger's eye heart. I'm going to uh, try to get the sticker off though because I feel like he's blocking the view. You know what I'm saying? This was four. Marked down to three. He's got a little bit of hematite in him. There's like a stripe of hematite. All right. Bonnie is in. Let me get the sticker off Bonnie. I just want it's in the way. Oh my gosh, is it ever in the way? There's so much prettiness underneath the stupid sticker. Okay. 
Oh, now I can't get his flash. I guess it's kind of like at that side. Okay, there we go, see? He's a cutie. I like this little heart. All right, who's got high bid? Bonnie's got high bid at five. Thank you, Bonnie. And that's so pretty. And Tiger's Eye is in your quartz family, guys. Did you know that? Well, I'm sharing fun facts for you tonight. Tiger's Eye is in the quartz family. He's cool. All righty. Hey, Leticia. Hello. Bonnie's at five. Barbara's out. This dude is neat. I don't even know what to make of him. This guy here. He's a, he's a fun one to hold. I like him. I'm going to lot him up with this, whatever this is. All right, here we go. We're going to count it to Bonnie going once. To Bonnie for five. Oh, Billy's in at six. Hey, Billy, how are you? All right, Bonnie's at seven. Can we show it a little better? I might have to do the old eye drop thing again. Good grief. All right, Billy's at eight. And get some water. I need to like refresh everything. Moisten up all the orifices <laughs> drying out over here. Bonnie's at nine. It's a battle of the bees. The bee memes. That is cute. I don't throw some tumbles into this guy. How about that? Let me get a little bag. We'll throw some mystery tumbles in here with this one. <laughs> no, Bonnie, no. Alright. I'm throwing in some mystery tumbles. I don't know what's in here. There's a carnelian. I don't know what that is. Might be a moonstone. It's hard to say. Probably an agate. I don't know. Maybe moonstone. There's a little hematite in there. What else? What are you? There's a blue thing. Looks like... I don't know what it is. It almost looks like Laramar. It's blue. Maybe it's an opal. Blue opal. We'll throw this little tumble bag in there with it. So this little bag of tumbles in with the uh, the heart. We'll go in there too. Bag of tumbles and tiger's eye heart. And Bonnie's out right when I add the goodies. <laughs> all right, so we're going to add those. Those are all be in there together. He might have a little sticky residue on him. Fair warning, he's a little sticky. All right, Bonnie's at 12. I don't know what this blue one is, but I've got a blue opal ring over there that it is very similar to, so I'm wondering if that's what that this blue tumble here is. Might be a, a blue common opal. <laughs> Billy's at 14. And by common, I just mean not sparkly. Common opal is found all over the world, and it's it's like an opaque color. It's kind of like a pretty jasper, more or less. And then your like Australian opal is like the shiny, sparkly stuff. And then you have Ethiopian opal, opal, which is also sparkly. Rainbow E. All right, Bonnie's at 15, which uh, I found out also is like Labradorite in the way that uh, the color is what it's reflecting and not what it is, if that makes sense. All right, Bonnie's got high bit at 20. Thank you, Bonnie. That heart is cute. And your mystery tumbles. There is a carnelian in there for sure, though. A nice one. It's very red. And hematite. And an agate. And that's the one. I don't know if that's a septarian or what. Or not septarian. Oh, my gosh, cat. I don't know if you seem to be saying this over and over again. Serpentine. Sitting on my hands tonight. No problem with that. 
You missed a cheap pyramid, though. But that's okay. All right, Billy's at 22. If you guys like really unique silver jewelry, wrong hand. I love this ring. It's like currently my favorite ring. Nary a gemstone to be found. Just silver. And I love this ring. Sacred silver on uh, Etsy. Sacred. Cool. Let me tell you guys. With Christmas, me too. Me too. All right, here we go. Going once. My family is, well, not my family, but, you know, the family is growing. You know, I had to buy for a niece this year, which is really exciting. All right, going twice. Final warning. And we are... Sold to Billy. Thank you, Billy. Congrats. Got a box right here for Billy. Woo! All right. Oh, let me write it down. I always do that. We'll say Tiger's Eye Heart and Tumbles. Perfect. All right, so for my next trick, I mean, I ha this is a huge thing of tumbles. What am I supposed to do with this? So we will do a tumble mix, and then these rocks are going to go too, and we're going to start this one at 10. All right, $10 start. I just like legit am checking my invoice to see if I accidentally bought two mystery lots. This seems like so much for what I paid, but I'm, I guess it's not. All right, so I don't know what's going in here. I don't know what this black tumble is. I don't know. That looks like moonstone to me right here. This could be a labradorite. Um, this is looks like Garnierite right, right here, which is green moonstone. Let me throw that in. <clears throat> what else do we have? Ooh, bloodstone. Oh, I spy bloodstone. Here's a little bloodstone almost cube. Wannabe cube. That's going in. Ooh. More of this, what I think might be uh, serpentine. Also could be a lab. This might just be like on flashy lab. The door, right? Here's another hematite chunk. Uh, this looks like demurderite. Occasionally called blue quartz. That one's going to go in there. What else? I don't know. Uh, this will go in there too, whatever this stone is. It's white with little black specks in it. It's not Dalmatian Jasper. It's not that kind of specs. It's like a... Might be a different kind of Jasper or granite or something. There's another uh, hematite piece that's going to go in there. Alright, so that's this whole tumble bag. Plus whatever the heck this thing is. Really smooth black rock. I'm going to throw him in there too. And then I'm going to do this guy too. $10 start, y'all, for all of this. This looks to me like they call it an orca car uh, carnelian. It's like this dark spot is like a uh, translucent red kind of color. If I can show it to you. If I can show it, I will. See the red through there? Isn't that gorgeous? This one feels really nice in the hand. I like this one. So that is that. So it's a $10 start for the whole shebang. On this one. And this guy's a, this is slippery. This slippery guy is sizable. He's like, a freeform palm stone. I don't know what else to call it, but he's pretty. So this is for all of this. Bonnie's in it, 10. Thank you, Bonnie. 
Um, I just, I don't know what, I don't know what the, some of these stones are. I know some, but not all. This is at least, I know for sure, a carnelian in there. All right, Barbara's at 11. You have a new gar uh, grandson, Deborah. That's awesome. Just this year? Aw. My niece, let me tell you. Thank you. Bonnie's at 12. She's the first girl in this generation of like our family. So I have, I've got three boys and then I have uh, two brothers, one that we're estranged. He doesn't qualify. The other one has just had the first girl. So I've got three boys. And then on my husband's side of the family, we have my three boys. His brother has two boys. His other brother has two boys and he has a sister that has one boy. So however many boys that is. All right, Lisa's at 13. Thank you. A lot of boys. What is that? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boys on, on his side of the family. My three boys and my family. And so this is the first daughter, uh, which is very exciting for everybody. I, I have the problem of buying. Okay, everyone's out. All right, Lisa, this is an awesome deal. Let's call this down. Going once. Going twice. Final warning. I'm buying a lot of girls' clothes. Sold! It's like every excuse, thank you, Lisa, that I have to buy her a new outfit, I do. I just bought her three outfits for Christmas. And then, um, and I'm, I'm making her, so, so, brother and sister-in-law, hopefully you're not watching me right now. Cover your ears if you are. Uh, I'm going to make her a hat. Um, I'm working on it now. And it's going to be cute, I hope. Okay, cool. Thank you. Let me put this in your bag. Three now. One is almost four. One is 13 months old. Aww. That's so sad. And now our grandson. Oh, God, that breaks my heart. Patricia, hello. Welcome in. All right, here we go. Let's open the next mystery thing. I'm going to push these tumbles aside. This is just like too much for me to deal with right now. So um, I got to make heads and tails of what they are. Or maybe I'll just sell them as random tumbles later, but I'm not going to do that right now. I want to open something else. <laughs> I hope everyone's okay with that. I don't want to do tumbles. All right, here we go. Here's something else that I didn't... Oh, this feels like it could be another candle holder, maybe? What on earth is this? This is, this is just a giant chunk of fluoride, it looks like, that's been polished. All right, so... It's just a, a big chunk. Um, it's smooth and smooth and smooth down here. It's rough here. Let me scratch it. Okay, yeah, it does scratch. So it's not something the quartz family. It's not quartz. It's got to be. It looks like green fluoride to me. Let me shine a light up to it. It looks like a chunk of cheese. I don't even, I don't even know. No, oh, look at that with the light under it though. <gasps> That's gorgeous. It's so pretty with the light. It's just really weird. It's just like a big chunk of nothing. I mean, it looks like, it's like a green floor. Let me see if this does anything under our stand. Or is this gonna be sad? That's pretty sad. <laughs> this thing. I don't think it was meant for this. I don't even know what to start this thing at. I'm going to start at a buck for lack of... Uh, make a bookend. Sure. It could be a bookend. 
That makes as much sense as anything else. I don't know which way it's supposed to sit. Maybe like that. So maybe I have a pear in there? I'll have to find out. But it's a big old honky chonky. And it, if you have a light stand, like a brighter one, it would be really pretty on top of that. It's nice lit. Honestly, I kind of like this rough side of it. But this rough side doesn't remind me of, um, it doesn't remind me of blue cal of uh, fluorite. The way that fluorite breaks. I don't know. I don't know. But Robin says, I'll figure out the mystery for a dollar. Why the heck not? It's a bookend. <laughs> it might be a bookend. I don't know. I don't have any books to like test it out on. But it would work as that, so you want to. I just don't know which way it would fit. I don't know. It's a chunk. It's another chunk. Oh, do you? Okay, because it's really pretty lit up. With the phone light on it, it's very, very pretty. The little tiny dim light doesn't work so well, but the bright light looks really good, so. All right, if nobody else wants the chunk, we'll call it down <laughs> to Robin for a buck. Going once. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It looks like green fluorite to me. It's just um, the rough side of it doesn't, but the way that it looks, it, it looks like green fluorite. Oh, Lindsay's in it too. Um, the, it's kind of got like crystal walls like on the inside there that I can't really show you guys on the camera. Wait, maybe I can. That do me a fluorite. That looks like fluorite. I don't think you're going to be able to really see that. Oh, yeah, you can. And it's like a minty green. And there's actually the whole strip. And this is like a yellow in the center here. And then at the top, it's like a lime green and lime green. Or like a minty green. See, it's like green, yellow, green. Which would definitely also could be a fluorite for sure. I, that would be my best guess. If you ask me to write down my answer if we're playing a quiz game I would say Florida alright Lindsay's at 5 Robin's out alright we're gonna count oh Patricia likes her fluoride. I still have you, your fluoride dragonfly over there Patricia alright Lindsay's at 7 who will get the chunk the other fluoride chunk the possible bookend. I guess I would sit like this. Because this side has a little rough spot too. So I'd probably put it this way. Where it's smooth. Alright, Patricia's at 8. Lindsay's at 9. You know what, Patricia? I still remember the first thing you bought for me. And I don't think I can say that about anybody else. Except for maybe, maybe Patty. I mean, she bought a crystal bracelet from me. But you, your first thing you bought from me was lapis. It was like a lapis, like, keychain or something, or pendant. All right, Patricia's at 10. Oh, you have the life, right? Okay, good. All right, cool. Everyone's out. Here we go. Calling it down to Patricia. Going once. Going twice. Final warning. And we're sold to Patricia for 10. Thank you. I like something in my thumb. That was weird. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, everybody. Ooh. All right. Awesome, awesome. I mean, this thing is big. Like, don't get me wrong. This is like over a pound of fluoride. Or whatever. I don't want my hands are getting dusty from this stuff. Awesome. All right, cool. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad you love it. All right, here we go. Here comes another mystery one, I think. 
Oh, it's coming apart inside the thing right here. Okay. What would fit in here? All right, so it's a giant chunk of quartz. But it's drilled out in the bottom for a light. How freaking cool. It's even got a little divot so you can put a cord in there. OMG. That is gnarly. It is like a lamp. It wouldn't, it's too small for a tea light, though. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I should keep this in final light for it and then sell it or just sell it. Now. It doesn't have a price on it. That's too cool. I might want to keep it. I don't know. I've never seen that. Oh my gosh, it would be so awesome lit up. I don't know. I don't know if I could sell this one either. Dang it, why do I have such a problem with quartz? I love quartz. I have fairy lights though. That would be perfect in this thing but I like what's the point of me keeping this I don't know oh I just love it so much <laughs> I have a bulb for that um I don't even know what to start it at either and it doesn't have a price on it I don't know y'all I'm gonna have to think about this one that's pretty cool I'm gonna have to think about this one because I don't know if I want to keep it or not. Let me just set it aside for a second. We're just gonna set this aside. If there's, yes, like, yes, totally. The little, like, with the little metal, like, tangs on it so it doesn't slip. I mean, unless there's enough interest. If there's enough interest in that, if I get three people that are interested, we'll put it up for sale. All right, you guys tell me if there's three of you that are interested that would truly actually want to purchase that one. Ooh. Appetite flame. Look at that. Oh, he's pretty. All right, this one's got 16 on it. All right, I got two yeses. Keep it till. Yeah, I think I might. I might. I'll bring. Got a little rainbow on it too. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring it back. I'll bring it back with lights. Or I might keep it, but <laughs> I have a problem. Okay, this one has 16. We're gonna start at 14 though, which is below wholesale price, but hey. He is super cool. This is a blue appetite. It is a flame carving. I've got Cat D in first at 14, I believe. Let me just double check my live. Yep. Cat D's in first. That is pretty. It has a little dingering right here. But honestly, I don't know if that's damage or not. All right, hold on, I gotta pause my music. I think my kid's upset. Oops, hold on, let me pause this. Hey, babe. All right, hold on really quick while I yell at the hubby. Oh wait, no, he's upstairs. Okay, he's taking care of it. Okay, we're good. We good. All right, sorry. Back to this. All right, I got Barbara in at 17 with the high bid. I've got like crystals on my keyboard and I think they're inside my mouse. <laughs> my mouse is making scratchy sounds like, what did you do to me? Why did you put crystals in me? All right, cats at 18. That's beautiful. This is another heavy one. This guy's got some, he's, He's weighty. <laughs> He's very weighty. This has got to be another one that's at least a pound. I'm judging it's all by the um, the skulls that I had. Those fluorite skulls. Because I got like, they were almost exactly a pound. So I really got a feel of what a pound feels like. 
Isn't that such a pretty stone though? I love the color. I love that kind of, I mean, this is like an electric blue. It's very, very pretty. All right, Barbara's at 19, Cat's at 20. Here's the bottom in case you curious what that looks like. Just a matte finish down here. It's pretty. All right, I'm going to pause again to take a swig of some water. Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. My screen disappeared on me for a second there. All right, Barbara's at 21. That's what you need, Mac. You need an appetite pyramid if you don't have one already. I'll be on the lookout for it. Beautiful. All right, Barbara's at 23. I'm going to pick this sticker off too. I like that the stickers are there so I can see the cost, but I also hate stickers. <laughs> I don't like stickers. I don't really like stickers at all, you guys. Surely I don't. I know people like them, so whatever, but I don't like stickers. Um, to me, they're just like an annoyance. I don't like them like fancy stickers. I guess, I don't know, I have like one on my car. My West Virginia sticker, and that's about it. Look at this spa right here. Is it flashy or is it just me? So I'm saying there's like a spot that's like kind of flashy in there. No, there's a totally some shiller going on right in there. Right there, it's kind of hard to see, but I like cool stickers to put on my laptop. Maybe that's what I should do with the stickers that I get because I keep I get stickers. Sometimes I'll buy stuff from like resellers and I'll get stickers with my orders. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with these things. I don't really do anything with stickers, but put them on the laptop. That's not a bad idea. All right, cat's got a high bit of 27 and he I didn't measure him for you either. He is four and a half, almost four and a half, and about three wide. It's hard to get like a true feel for how tall it is, but yeah, that's almost four and a half. All right, Barbara's in at 28. Thank you, everybody who's bidding, and thank you, everybody who's here tonight. I really appreciate it. All right, cat's at 30. It's so pretty. All right, Barbara's at 31, cat's at 32. They both really like this one. Appetite is very nice. I haven't ever had a flame, I don't think. I've had free forms. I think I've had spheres. Pretty sure I've had palm stones. I don't think I've had a flame before. I think this is the first one. Maybe I'm wrong. My bar was at 33. I'm gonna deposit again and freaking lube the eyes. All right, <laughs> cats at 34, Barb's at 35. Have I purchased this rock before? Not that you would remember. I don't remember what I had for breakfast. That's a lie, it was coffee. It's basically the same thing every day. <sighs> have you purchased this rock before? I don't know that you have, Jonathan. Maybe a sphere? I don't know, are you quizzing me? Do you already know the answer? Because <laughs> I don't know. All right, cat's at 36. I almost put you in timeout. <laughs> I almost clicked the wrong thing. Oh my gosh, I feel so guilty. 
All right, well, these two are fighting it out. Tell me, what are you auction hopping on? Because I know you are, because I do it too. Just curious. If you got, did you guys get anything good today? In an auction or otherwise? Am I going to bring back my singer friend for the holidays? I don't know. I've invited her to come back on, and um, she was very non-committal about it. But that would be fun. I'll have to talk to her. We're supposed to, we keep like, oh, we need to catch up. Oh, we need to catch up. And we have it. So maybe. All right. Cat's at 40. Barbara's at 41. No, I don't know the answer. <laughs> You'll have to check your own stash because I'm not sure. All right. Cat has called uncle. Here we go to Barbara for 41. Going once. Thank you, Kat, and thank you, Barbara. Going twice. Final warning. I hope you guys enjoy my dumb dances and my silly faces. Oh, I love Julie. All right, here we go. We're sold. Sold to Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. Nice. Actually, Barbara's got a... No. Yes, she does. Okay. All right, throw that over there. Uh, what do we have? 41 for the appetite. Thank you so much, everybody. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's see what's next. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is the heaviest one yet, for real. All right. Oh, it's two things. Oh, wait, did I buy these? Oh my gosh. Whoa, it's a candle holder. Look at it. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the sides. That is too cool. That's a Jasper candle holder. I'm guessing the other one's the same thing. I don't know if it's the same stone though. No, it's not. It's calcite. Look at that. How five dollars? Oh my gosh, they don't even sell these to me for five dollars. How are these only five? They've even got little grips on the bottom. I've never had the grips on the bottom when I've bought these. What? Okay, so these Jonathan knows these go great as sphere holders, too. We'll start with this one. Calcite, orange calcite. It's like orange and a little bit of pink calcite. And there's actually streaks of white through here too. Tea light holder or sphere holders. They work great for either. Um, I don't think I have a sphere. Well, actually, I have my, my giant flatware. Agate back here. Kind of listen. That is crazy. I can't, I don't know why this one would be only $5. That's a nutty to me. I don't see any flaws with this thing. I don't know why it would be five. And there's little, there's like tiny little grippy dudes on the bottom here. There's four of them. So I'm saying one up here. One, two, three, four. So it doesn't scuff your countertops or your glass coffee table, whatever. That's crazy. All right, Jonathan's got high bit at 10. Cat's at 12. I also use quartz towers with those candle holders. There you go. You heard it here first. I just don't, like, I'm telling you guys, these ones wholesale, the candle holders wholesale are, like, between $12 and $16 usually, give or take. So why these are five, I have no idea. <laughs> but I'll take it. And that's the wholesale price. That's how much I buy them for. How much I've bought them for. The amethyst and citrine ones are a little more. So I don't get it, but that's cool. All right, cat's got high bit at 12. Everybody else is out, I do believe. All right, here we go. Going once. Yeah, that's cool. You know what you could do too? Not to halt the bit, but I was just thinking. If you had like, if you put the candle in the middle of these and then had set up like 
a bunch of towers, like if you have a bunch of clear points, like kind of around it, you know, they're going to be backlit by that candle. So these should be like illuminated from the front, if that makes sense. So just as a thought. Anyway, all right, going once, going twice, going chicken soup with rice, and we are old. <laughs> we are old to Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. It is yours. Where is my book? Thank you. Oh, wait, you already got something. I need to not set you up with a second invoice. That would be stupid. Here we go. Oh, wait, this was Kat, not Jonathan. I'm sorry. Jonathan was out. Jonathan did not win it. Kat won it. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ignore me. I got there eventually. Now here comes everybody telling me that I had screwed it up. Yep, see. <laughs> I told you we're on a delay. So I realized thing. And then I see everybody telling me. Um, okay. Candle holder. All right, cool. Poor cat. Who's cat? Cat has a box behind me. Uh, okay. okay. All right, next up. Starting bid five. Also for this one, which I presume is Jasper. Actually, I can... Well, Jasper's a little different. I don't know if you can scratch Jasper with quartz. I'm assuming it's Jasper. It's like a very rough kind of finish on this one. It's not polished at all. This is straight rough rock here. Maybe a bit of uh, zebra calcite, but it's not the right... Um, uh, it's like too matte. Calcite would be very shiny. How pretty is that though? I think that thing is freaking cool. All right, I've got Karen in first at five. Even look on the inside, you can see the striping on the inside. I almost wish it was polished. I feel like that would be very, very pretty. All polished up too. There's a little vlog in there. There's the stripes. This one also on the bottom has the little thing. Also made in Brazil. Has the little grippy dudes on the bottom. And it's gorgeous. Alright, I see Cat at 5, just making sure. Or I'm sorry, Karen, not Cat. See? I'm just going to screw everybody's name up. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Hopefully that's alright. It could be polished, sure. It's matte on the bottom. I just, I don't know what the, oh, there's hematite in it. Look, there's right here, there's a strip of hematite, look. See it? How cool is that? Which leads me to believe that it is something in the Jasper family. And it is uh, another one, like tea light, would fit a tea light. I'm, I had like a whole pile of candles over here on my table. I don't know where they went though. I thought I did. All right, Patricia's in at six. Look at the sides. This thing is so cool. I'm just like blown away. You guys don't understand that $5 is a crazy deal on this. At wholesale. They don't sell, generally these are like 25, 30 bucks to buy online or something like that so I'm just really really surprised anyway Karen's at seven and I think let me see we have looks like we have two more oh the free ones okay we've got two more packages to go I think and then that's gonna be it one of I don't know we'll see what's left in these ones we got two more mystery lots to open, and then I think we're going to be done, if that's okay with everybody. Um, and then next week, I will be back probably again on Sunday. Sunday seem to be working for us right now, um, and that will be with a, you know, a table sale with new items. I have new items sitting right over there in a box. 
I just haven't opened them yet. All right, what do we think, Patricia? I don't see any more bids coming in. Hopefully one is an Amethyst Cathedral. I should probably move it off the table to stop tempting people. All right, I don't see Patricia, so I'm going to call it slowly. Okay, there she is. She's out. Thank you, Patricia. All right, going once to Karen. Going twice. Final warning. Sold! Thank you, Karen. It is all yours. Sold for two, Karen, for seven. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. You put this behind me. Perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, Misty. It's been sold. I'm sorry. All right. Perhaps you'll like this, which feels towery to me. All right. Please have your tip. Ooh, what are you? All right, let's mark down to 15. I can't believe this thing is $15. This thing is huge. Look how pretty. All right, so this is a giant tower. Mark down to 15. All right, let me see if this one is a quartz because I honestly don't know. It is not a quartz. All right, I just put a line in the bottom of it trying to figure it out. So <laughs> there's your, this is not a quartz mark. It might be a calcite. Um, I honestly thought it was a, a quartz of some sort. So now I'm, I'm kind of at a loss. It might be a moonstone. It could be a moonstone or a feldspar of some sort. It's very, very pretty though. Look at the stripes on the side. Not my hair camera. Look at the stripes. All right, Jonathan's in a 15. A chunker is right. Dude, this thing is huge. Um, tip is still there. So it's not, it doesn't have a broken tip. This up here looks like calcite to me. It reminds me of calcite, but then the side reminds me of moonstone, so I don't know. It's pretty, whatever it is. There, now you can see kind of the striping going on on the side there. very very pretty it's so big it's such a big chunky tower and with that nice little like stripe down the side I don't know I think it's kind of cool it's a chonker oh my gosh but if nobody else is into this chonker we'll count them down Oh no, Jonathan, I don't know what this thing is. We just know that it's softer than a quartz, so. Chocolate and peanut butter fudge. See, it's more of like a, kind of like a peachy pink though. It's like a peachy pink and then kind of like a dark greenish gray kind of color. Which again makes me feel like it's something Feldspar-esque, if that makes sense. But if nobody else is into the chunky feldspar mystery tower, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with some fudge and chocolate, just saying. Whoa, all right, Lindsay's in a 20. Thank you, Lindsay. He's a beast and he's heavy as crap, too. This one is five and three quarters tall by about two and a half wide at the widest part. He's a big chunky, chunky, chunky. It's not wood though, cause it's scratching with quartz. If it was petrified wood, I couldn't scratch it cause it's uh, in the quartz family. It's a uh, 
how sudden they touch so it shouldn't scratch. This one I was able to put a little ding at the bottom of it. So it's not quartz. So I'm thinking maybe a feldspar? It might be a moonstone. All right. Yes, it's not. Okay, here we go. Going once. To Lindsay for 20. Going twice. Is this weird having my face up the whole time? It feels weird to me. Final warning. <laughs> and so to Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. Congratulations on your giant chunker guy. He's a beast. He's a chunky chunky. He's like me, a chunky chunky. Go lay him down gently. Awesome. Thank you, Lindsay. I'm just putting down tower since I can't commit to what stone it is. Awesome. All right. Is that the, this is the second to last one? This might be the last one. It depends on what. Oh, no. That's just a bed. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is it, guys. This is the last one of the night. Last one. Ooh, ooh, we got, ooh, there are more candle holders. All right, ooh, this guy's kind of leaking. What is happening here? Hold on, hold on, we got a situation. All right, so. It was all sticky. There's like this thing in there. All right, hold on. Ew, it's so sticky. All right, I can see what happened. What? What? Eh, eh. I don't like this. Ugh. This is so upsetting. What a way to finish. <laughs> um. Okay, so here's what happened. All right, so. There's a sticky disc down in the bottom of there. It looks like they had tried to pour resin into it to flatten out the bottom so the candle could sit in the bottom, but it didn't cure. Um, it's sticky. So I don't know, we might have to let this one come back after I clean off whatever the heck that is. And it's now on my finger too, which is so fun. Saving best for last, the sticky candle holder. Ew, he'll have to be an encore. He's so pretty, though. It's a nice quartz. I mean, I can clean it up for you. If you guys want to bid on it and know that I'll clean it, you can. Um, the bottom isn't flat, though. That's the problem. They, I guess they're trying to flatten it out uh, with the resin, just pouring something in there and letting it cure inside of the thing. Uh, but it didn't work. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll wait on that one. <laughs> All right. Didn't want to make this piece the last one. Hold on. I gotta go to bed. I gotta read. Okay, so now this one is okay. All right, I can tell you exactly what's happening here. I don't know why the heck that one was sticky. That's weird. This is a rose quartz one, so look. At the very, sorry, I didn't mean to click on that. At the very bottom, uh, it looks like they drilled really close to the bottom and it poked through, but then they fixed it by filling it with resin. So you can still put a candle holder in there. This one is not sticky. It's not sticky, this one is rose quartz. So it is a stone rose quartz. Just know that there's resin. And is this, this might be a little bit of resin on the side here too. But just on the inside is resin. The rest of it, this is quartz, rose quartz. So you could still use it as a candle holder, whatever. It just looks like they got a little drill happy when they drilled through it. <laughs> yeah, for a sphere it wouldn't matter for sure. All right, starting with three bucks, rose quartz candle holder. 
There's also a little tiny rough spot right there, but I don't know. That doesn't bother me at all, but... I'm gonna catch the light on it. These are natural little uh, fractures inside the stone. That's not damage, it's just natural. This is not... <laughs> that gaping hole is not natural. These are a little resin bit. Alright, Barbara's got a high bit at four. And again, this one is rose quartz, so it, is, it does have a little bit of a, a pink um, tint to it. As comparison, here's pink versus white. My eyeballs. Alright, Jonathan's at five. That made me with the drill here. Like, just a little further. Uh, just a little further. Uh, oh no, I'm drilling the table. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, they try to fix it. It also had, this also has a little feet on it. So it, it would totally still work as a candle holder and a sphere holder. Caught red handed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's so pretty. I mean, I still like it as a natural stone. This thing is grossing me out, though. I gotta clean this one before I can sell it. They did something similar, but it's not through all the way. It looks like this one they went through all the way. This one they didn't, so I don't know why they felt like they needed to add whatever the heck that was into it. I mean, we can still auction that one if you guys want to. I just don't know about the stick, the stickiness. All right, Patricia's at six. Elizabeth claims she's innocent, but we all know that's a lie. All right, Patricia's at six. Just kidding, Elizabeth. All righty. Or a lab, a lababoo. Eliza lababoo. Going once to Patricia for six. Going twice to Patricia for six. Dang, this table is so wobbly. I need a good grief. I'm wondering if the kids didn't just come in here and like twist the screws. All right, final warning. Busted publicly by my rock guru. <laughs> and we are sold to Patricia for six. Thank you, Patricia. All right, what do you guys think about the sticky rock? All right, you guys tell me. <laughs> Yay! It is all yours, my dear. Now you have something to go in your bag. <laughs> All right, I just don't do about this thing. I can clean it off and bring it back, and we can talk about it another night, or we can bid on it now. And I can still attempt to clean off. It's just that stuff is all sticky. But it's so pretty. I hate to just, like, leave it out in the cold, but it's grossing me out. All right, I'm going to clean it and bring it back. That's what I'm going to do. I've made an executive decision. It needs to be cleaned before I can sell it. It grosses me out. No, I can't, Lindsay. It's so gross. Um, I can't, like, talk nicely about it when it's, it's making me cringe. I'm in for three. Yeah, I can't. I can't do the sticky rock. I got to clean up because I got to make sure there's no damage, too. I can't sell that to you if it's going to be all screwed up. You know what I mean? I, would, I don't want to even touch it. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what, though. We'll do one last special lot of palm stones. We'll do two palm stones. Stop it, Jonathan. <laughs> Stop. We'll do two of the new palm stones. How about that We'll come back. Thank you guys so much, though. Where's that one that had the inclusion that's confusing me? That one. 
I don't even understand how that happens, but we'll do that one. And let me get out one of these guys. And what these aren't going to be the, the wholesale price, but we'll give them, we'll price them out for you. <sighs> we'll start them at 12 for the pair, which is still a freaking fantastic deal. It'll be 12 for the pair. I'm just grabbing, well, okay, let me do this one. This one looks nice. $12 for the pair. I hope you guys aren't. I wiped it on a piece of newspaper, so I'm good, Bonnie. <laughs> for now. Um, I hope you guys aren't bidding on that thing. Because, no. Alright, we're going to do this pair of palm stones. And this will be it for tonight. This is going to be starting bid at $12 for the pair. What did Max say? Bring it back when I have the funds to bid. <laughs> you got it. Hopefully that's next week. All right. So first is this Opalite, which again, it has, I don't understand, but it's got like what looks like, it's not tourmaline. It couldn't possibly be, but it certainly looks like it, doesn't it? But anyway, we have this Opalite Palm Stone. And then his friend... The Moonstone, which actually does have a little bit of blue flash in there, here and there. This is Moonstone. Do you see it's got a little bit of blue? So technically it's a Rainbow Moonstone, but I'm just going to call it a Moonstone. And that black inside Moonstone is Tourmaline. So this will be the pair of the, the Moonstone and the Opalite. Starting bid 12. I'll have more these week but this is all that's gonna be on the table for tonight this is the last lot of the night i hope it can be clean who knows what secrets lie beneath that sticky i don't know the stickiness but the stickiness i'm seeing a little more blue on the side there there how do i point to this there. It's a blue flash over there. It's a blue right there. They're not, I don't know. I haven't looked at them, so they might be flashy elsewhere. I don't know. All right, Barbara's in for 12. Thank you. Good night, Patricia. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. And again, I hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving. I actually bought ingredients to have an encore dish of mine, which is one of my favorites, which is ambrosia. But I cheat. I don't put everything in it that the ambrosia calls for. All right, Barbara's in for 12. These are going to be more next week, just so you guys know. I'm starting them cheap tonight because I like you guys. You're my favorites. All my friends in the chats are my favorites. Alrighty. If nobody else wants to fight her for it, we'll call it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Going once to Barbara. For these very lovely palm stains. Going twice. What did Eliza Lababoo say? That's commitment right there. All right, final warning. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not selling it tight. You'll have to wait. All right. We're sold to Barbara for 12. Thank you. All right. Yeah, nasty guy stays for now until he's not nasty anymore. That's the rule. He needs to stop being gross. Palm stones. All right, that's it. That's it. I'm putting it in a bag. We're calling it a night. Um, thank you guys so much for coming in. I appreciate it. I hope you all had fun. I, I enjoyed that. Let me know whether you're here now or uh, you watch this later and you want to comment in the chat. I mean, in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this, the mystery box style, because if you did, I'll go and see if, 
um, the cellar has any more mystery lots. I enjoyed that. That was fun for me. I love I love surprises. So <laughs> I'm not. I'll let it go after I clean it. I'm not that attached. Unless you met this guy. Or this guy. Then maybe. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Um, please share the channel out. I would love to hit a thousand before the end of the year, if possible. That would be wonderful. If not, at least 900, maybe, I hope. Thank you guys a lot. I hope that your uh, packages arrive soon. You love everything you get. I love mystery boxes. Good. Yes, enjoy the mystery box. Good. Okay, cool. This is fun. Okay, cool. We'll do it again then. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. I'll see you back here on uh, next Sunday for crystals. I'll be here probably on Tuesday to paint. I don't know if it's going to be the mermaid or if it's going to be a new picture, but probably a new picture. And um, I think that's going to be it. If I missed anything, I'm sorry. I don't know. Send me an email or something. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming in. See you next week. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. And I'll see you in the chats. All right. Bye, everybody. Good night. Oh. Let me do my thing. Ooh, good night.